I'm, uh, I feel like we're going to perish. Holy hell. Very, very soon. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, all right, everybody. Welcome to the Indie Showcase with the Birdman. I am, said Birdman. This is going to be the showcase on Evolution. It's a, you know, kind of a little bit of play on words there. It's not evolution. It's evolution. Wow. That said, it kind of makes sense because uh, what little I know about this game based on what I saw. It's a 99 cent game, by the way. And currently, it's on sale during the Steam sale for like 50 cents. So either way, it's like, you know, a dollar at most. But based on what I saw from the Steam page, there's not much of a story. It just seems that you will be this uh, particular young lady and the ship um, blowing stuff up in space. Boom! <laughs> it's kind of like... Vampire Survivors meets Asteroids, I guess, would kind of be the closest thing, really. But, um, it is going to be one of them bullet hells. You level up, roguelite, etc, etc, you get some upgrades. Let's check it out, I mean, for a dollar, why not? Holy Jesus! What is that?! What the f- So you're seeing this on screen right now? This glitch? It's not, um, a glitch glitch. It's the developer's cute way of, like, doing meta stuff with the video game. Based on what I read on the Steam forums, people were like, you know, eh, we don't really like this, could you, like, not, not have it? So, here we choose a pilot. Monica Gameplays. I, I gotta look up Monica Gameplays, is that an actual YouTube channel? Yes, Monica Gameplays is an actual YouTube channel with 17.4k subscribers. The channel primarily features gameplay videos of various video games, including Doki Doki Literature Club, Stardew Valley, and Animal Crossing, New Horizons. The channel also uploads original music videos and live performances. My apologies for the error in my previous response. I am still under development, and I am always learning new things. I will try to be more careful in the future. I am doing well, thank you for asking. Good night. I hope you have a restful sleep. Okay, and then we apparently get upgrades based on this here. So this will be shields, recharge, speed, power. I feel like normally... F oh, stop doing the glitch thing. Normally for me, the speed thing would be good. Go with plasma pulse. Now let's just do the gas cannon. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. oh that, that was good. We just blind that dude one shot. Okay, and look, really quickly, we actually got another complaint that I saw on the Steam forums. Uh, <laughs> as I mentioned about the dev, with the glitches that you saw, purpose glitches, um, there's apparently that effect that slows everything down, which is fine, you know, I can understand a power-up that lets you slow down time. It's actually very useful for these type of games. But does it really have to be as annoying as possible when it's on the screen, the effect, you know? More enemies you pacify means a bigger payout to your family. So, yes, yeah, so let me upgrade. What do we got here? <laughs> oh, I see we just kind of blad randomly. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay. Make sure we're picking this up right here. So, yeah, it's basically like, you know, vampire survivors in space. And you're in, I guess, because you're in space, it would be a ship indeed. So, asteroids. But you're thinking you're, you're that much of a boomer? It's, I mean, like, no, I wasn't alive when Asteroids came out, but as a hand-me-down for my parents, I got an Atari, and yes, I played Asteroids. Big whoop, wanna fight about it? What do we have here? Plasma laser, exotic, ugh. Okay. Stop, okay. <laughs> Trying to give it a honest shot here, and it keeps wanting to bug me. In terms of the gameplay itself, I mean, it's actually, at least for now, kind of gratifying. I'm liking the power-ups. The music's pretty good, too. It's just like the weird little design choices when it comes to, like, weird... I mean, for a dollar, I mean, what do you expect, right? But it's just the weird graphical stuff. My look is super befitting of an AI starship avatar. I'm very proud of him. It sure wasn't made by a man who objectifies women. <laughs> Attractive women, bad. Hmm. Let's add... Plasma Y to our arsenal here and see what happens. Now what about this big... I'm not sure, I guess that was maybe just a way for us to heal. Ooh. 
I'm gonna make myself huge. Or you know what? Hey, pull things to me, I think. No, no, actually doesn't pull things to me. It magnifies enemies. Oh my god. This DPS is insane. <gasps> I was pulling his soul from his body with my DPS and then suddenly some dude from the corner just put a beam on me and that was it. And in case you're wondering, I, I did try to react to it. For some reason when I made me super powerful, made me super slow. Okay. Well, I guess we could try one more. <laughs> that just round barely started that was it, huh? Um, Monica gameplays, I'm sorry I have, I have let you down. Alright, let's go with, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. machine can. The quick pew pews. I got some shields with the extra stuff that we got, just because apparently if I get big again and I'm slow again, I, I'm not quick enough to move out of the way. I'm not sure if I'm liking that. Pew pew. It just moves the enemies. Oh my god, it's kind of annoying how much it moves them around. Like, you would just like a little steady shot, right? But no can do. Hey, you got one of those lasers that destroyed my life. Yo, these lasers, if you're slow, they're, they're freaking dangerous. Oh my hell. I mean, that run was going so good, and suddenly, like, you know, I just blinked, and it was over. Get this guy down. What I do like about this, though, is that, thankfully, it's one of those games that lets you, it's one of those Vampire Survivor-ish type of, you know, bullet hell games that lets you aim out where you want to shoot. I hate the ones that don't let you do that. Like, they just automatically choose where you're going to shoot. It's kind of like, why, why would you take that autonomy away from me, you know? What was brought... What was brought... What? What what? Oh, that's that's what was breaking my brain. What what? <laughs> okay, what brought you to this mess for money? Hope, faith, positive thinking? Who knows? Okay. Dude, those two what what's together were just apparently breaking my brain. I couldn't get past them. Um... Yes, we need some white shots here. I also want to pick up those skulls. And it seems that those lasers are like eternal. Like if you're in their line of sight, they never end. There's no end to them. Let me get this here. Okay, well it killed everybody uh, on screen anyway, which is good. Could have done without the uh, annoying effect though. It's like this game is developing a little bit of theme for me here, right? <laughs> Fine enough gameplay, annoying ass effects. Pilot, go pilot, come, but we're not going anywhere. Okay, sure, whatever you say. Um, let me get the little laser. Maybe I want to also play with this uh, laser. Oh, there's my laser. Oh, oh, yo, the laser actually doesn't deter into enemies. No wonder I got wrecked. The problem is there's way too many lasers. Like, it seems like every enemy is equipped with a freaking laser, you know what I'm saying? Oh, great. Oh, good. Okay, move out of the way. Yeah, it feels like every single enemy has a laser. So you're, you're just constantly, like, on the move. Then again, without the lasers, I feel like it probably wouldn't be too difficult, you know? If it's only pew-pews that they shoot at you, I guess it'd be a lot simple. Okay, okay. chill. Let's, uh, pick this up now. We have a lot of things to pick up around here to level up. Uh, I don't know what exotic does. Every time I try to read it, I just okay, fine. I'm just gonna pick it up just because I'm. It's kind of annoying. I don't know what exotic does. And Otaku and a bunch of military guys train me. Yeah, I could. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. As a matter of fact. Um. Recharge. You won't survive enough. Oh, level up twice again. Let me get the frag cannon. Um, I don't know what it means by reach. Just like, do I recover HP slowly over time? That'd be nice. The Empire does ride by crooked lines. Ah, oh, speed. Thank you. Ah. Oh, yo, my ship actually did change, though. Nice. Evolution ship, huh? Yeah, you're right. Okay, okay, okay. Problem is, now that I'm bigger, I'm a, I'm a much bigger target, obviously. Okay, easy. How long have we survived? 
Dude, we're not even three minutes in. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm, uh, I feel like we're gonna perish. Holy hell. Very, very soon. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, no, no. It made me slow again. I don't want to be slow. Look. Look at what being slow does. I need to get this. You saw? That's literally how I died the first time, too. And now you visibly saw it. See, the first time, it caught me by surprise. I didn't know that big meant small. This time I know big meant small. But the problem is that then you're so big and you're so slow. What did I say? Big means small? <laughs> big means small. I mean, that makes perfect sense. I mean, that, that maybe I'm good throwing some meta commentary at you like this game is. No, no. Big means slow. And we saw it right there. It made me slow and then I was in the middle of bullet hell and I couldn't move fast enough to avoid bullet hell. Okay, so never pick up that icon, apparently so. Either way. I feel that me playing this again would not add anything more. You've seen what the gameplay is. There's no story here to unlock to show you more. But it is a dollar game. Currently 50 cents. With the Steam sale going on, so... It's fine mechanically. There's a couple of annoyances, obviously, especially that. Like, you know, don't ever have that icon or at least never pick up that power up. It, it seems like, you know, it's going to just get you wrecked. But other than that, I guess it's fine. And there's some, you know, pretty women bad as well. So, you know, you have that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you next time.